We've added a new tool in the Riverside Editor, which allows you to hide or show the canvas while you're working. This way you can focus on editing via the transcript, and that means you can enable the canvas for your audio-only content, use our new image overlays, animated captions, text overlays, and more with your audio-only content, which is perfect for making audiograms. If we go to one of our recordings in the Riverside account, I can click the Edit button and Create New Edit to jump into the Riverside Editor. You have all the tools you know and love, including our new text overlay feature, image overlays, animated captions, and more. And you'll now notice a new tool here in the upper right-hand corner. Click that, and it will hide the visual canvas. It's still there, but now you can focus on editing via the transcript, selecting and deleting words. But this is really useful for your audio-only content. This could be audio-only content you recorded with Riverside, or you can upload an MP3 or other audio file and still use the Riverside editor. This is an audio file I uploaded directly to my Riverside Studio. You see, I still get the transcript. I can generate AI show notes, which our AI show notes now include summaries, keywords, and takeaways, in addition to possible titles, sound bites, and chapter timestamps. And these keywords are perfect to put as the tags in your YouTube video. But now if I go to the editor for this audio-only content and create a new edit, you typically see the full transcript where you can edit your content that way or via the timeline below. But now I can choose to show the canvas for this content, and I can upload a background image, add captions, overlay additional images or text, alongside my audio content. Let's actually make this a square one by one by selecting the aspect ratio here. And let's click the brand tool first. We can add a background image. We have lots of pre-made backgrounds you can use, or you can upload your own. I'll choose a custom image I uploaded here. And we have the beginnings of our audiogram. Next, let's add our animated captions. I'll click the captions tool here on the right. You see we have lots of pre-made styles to choose from. I'll choose this bottom style here. Then I can click the captions, and you can see I can change the style, choose a different font, adjust the size, and even choose a different animation style. Maybe I want the active word to be boxed solid like that. And then I can adjust the colors, both the background color and the boxed color. Let's go with an orange there. I can also change the capitalization and justification. And now I can preview this and I have the animated captions over my custom background image. But maybe I want to make this even more visually appealing and add image and text overlays. Let's add a text overlay. Maybe we want to add the active speaker here. You'll see it added that speaker name. Maybe I'll move it to the bottom of the audiogram. I can double click to change the wording here. And I can adjust the style and colors of my text overlays as well. I can adjust how long this text overlay appears in the clip by zooming in on the timeline. And you'll see the text overlay appear here. If I click that, I can then drag the in and out points. And this will make the text overlay appear longer or shorter over the content. I'll move the captions down a little bit. And now let's add an image overlay to make this really visually appealing. For the image overlay, you can actually search for royalty-free images right here in the Riverside Editor. Maybe we're talking about an iPhone feature. I can search that, click an image, and it will automatically overlay it on top of the audiogram. You can also upload custom images by using the upload tool here on the right. This can be full screen slides, other image overlays. And once you've added it, you can resize it, move it around, even adjust the opacity of your image overlays. And if you have multiple images and text overlays, you can change the visual order here. Just like our text overlays, the image overlays also appear down here over the timeline. And I can drag the in and out points of the images to make that appear longer or shorter. Now, one of my favorite ways to create short clips for my transcript is you can select any amount of text, could be a couple paragraphs, and then in the little menu that pops up, click the three dots, and you can choose Keep Only This. When I select that, it will remove all the other parts of the transcript. I can hide that deleted content by toggling this off. And now I have an audiogram that's 55 seconds long with just the content that I chose. I can preview that here. And now you see you have the image overlay with animated captions. You can add your text overlays and create visually engaging audiograms from your audio-only content. If you'd like to learn more about all the new features coming to the Riverside Editor, plus the ones that are there now, like the new animated captions, text and image overlays, and more, I'll put a playlist right up here. It's our Learn to Use Riverside, where I walk you through the entire platform. And if you need tips on how to get the best sound and video from your recordings, I'll put a video about that right up here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.